and that all changes tomorrow. I am putting health and fitness, that pillar of my life, at number one. Everything else is getting bumped to the side. Because if I do not have a healthy lifestyle, then I cannot have a healthy life. And what I mean by that is that I This is Canadian maple syrup. I know this is probably shocking, but I got it from Canada, <laughs> from the Toronto trip, and it is literally amazing. Spencer and I got to do a taste testing of four different seasonal syrups. <sighs> he got a variety pack for his parents, I just got the single one, because I wasn't spending like 20 bucks on syrup. No chance. I feel like I'm rushing right now. I don't like it. It's nine o'clock. I hope I can at least be at class by 9.03. What's going on? Okay, clear skies. We got nothing. We got nothing today. I wonder what's going on here. Mmm. Alright, alright, alright. Class by 9.03. Brisk pace. Brisk pace. 9.06. I'm three minutes off. Feeling good, living better. I'm on the phone with my dad. I've been on the phone for the past 46 minutes. <laughs> Which I, I honestly agree with too. He was saying he was like, we're both doing like the biggest thing in the world. walking through the dealership right now and he's talking to all the different uh, departments and it's funny hearing them. <laughs> Nothing, were you just making quick rounds? <laughs> was that recon? <laughs> So today's vlog, we're gonna talk about how I was when I was at the healthiest points in my life compared to my most unhealthiest points in my life. And I would say I've been in, in an unhealthy point in my life for the past three months, August, September, October. And like I said in my last vlog, if you haven't seen that yet, there's a little tag right there, is I, it started right before Maine. It was about a month before the Maine trip. There's some Maine trip right there, check it out. Uh. Viado meeting right now with the homie Dave Rinaldi. You already know who he is. Yeah. Do, do you, so do you think, my question is here, cause like I feel like that way too, but maybe let me clear it up. Is there anything that you think we can do, I can do strategically with Conquest to like better our opportunities in it. Cause you know what I mean? Like B Auto, I can price change. We saw last time based on the 56 out of 100 vehicles price change the last 30 days I did, like it's sold. So like we know that me sitting away and doing price changes does help us sell vehicles. Is there anything that we can do with Conquest that I could help move the needle a little bit? Cause I know that it's like right to the inventory and we basically sell what we get. We're outperforming the market most of our stuff right now. But it's like, is there any ways we can utilize it? Something that we're doing, like pricing strategy, anything else? That meeting's over with, went really well. Now I just gotta work out. Gym time. So this clip right here so for was in me, my vlog yesterday. My mood helps my mindset, oh, my outlook on life. Like, look how beautiful today is. It's an incredibly beautiful day. Just watch it. But even more important than that, it's my energy and it's my drive. Now that's the categories we're gonna compare today. We're gonna talk about my mood, my mindset, my outlook on life, and my drive and my energy. Those five things and how they compare to when I'm at my healthiest and to when I'm at my unhealthiest. So 
a mood is a temporary state of mind or of feeling. Now, when I'm at my unhealthiest, I feel some examples that would represent my mood would be annoyed, angry, cranky, easily upsetable, and I would even go as far as to say even some type of depressed. Now, when I'm at my healthiest, I would say I feel calm, I feel mellow, I feel at ease. And I'd say I feel happy. Number two is mindset. And before you're like, oh, come on, dude, are we really gonna go through all of them? No, I don't think there's five like categories to go through anymore. I think a lot of them can be intertwined and mixed together. So we'll make it happen. I'm gonna condense it down, I promise. Look at this little turd. Someone said you were bringing him down. I was supposed to, but Tino said Dante's watching him. And I was like, well, I don't know which Dante that means. Like, I don't know if that means, like, his roommate Dante. What do you, uh... Let's go shithead. We want to just take him down? <laughs> do we want to bring that thing for him? Yeah. <laughs> he has a toy on Tino's floor. Let's grab that. Where's Tino's room? Very bad one. Oh, chill out. <laughs> Look at him. I don't know where you think you're going. Look at him. Big turd. God. <laughs> Please tell me that's on. Like, if you licks the camera, are you gonna get that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, hilarious. He's loving it. Are you filming right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that, yeah. but. <laughs> I think I heard. That. <laughs> Little puppy's name is Bo. He's so cute. Look at him. Just look at him. That is Santino's dog. Santino, like. I know you needed somebody to watch him, but thank you for letting us watch him. He's cute as fudge. Let's get on to mindset. So mindset, when I'm at my unhealthiest, that's when I have a pessimistic mindset. Now, when I'm at my healthiest, that's when I have an optimistic out mindset, like an outlook. When I am unhealthy, it's foggy up here. And when I'm healthy, it's clear. I'm able to see what my goals are, what my vision is. And when I'm unhealthy, all I'm doing is dwelling. I'm dwelling on the past. I'm dwelling on the day before for not accomplishing the things that I wanted to accomplish, for being unhealthy, for not being motivated, not being driven. So bang, let's get the outlook already. I my outlook stems from my mindset. My outlook I'm talking about is, do I have a clear vision of what I wanna do? Do I have a clear out vision of what I wanna get done on a day-to-day -day basis? Do I know what my macro goals are? Do I know what my micro goals are? It's me having a clear vision of my life and the path that I wanna be taking and what I wanna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. The outlook part comes in because is it clear? When I'm healthy, it's clear. I know what I want. I know what my desires are. I'm disciplined on getting those done. I'm diligent about it. And then when I'm unhealthy, I don't know what I want to be doing. I sleep in. I don't have the passion to be waking up. I don't have the desire to be getting up. I don't have the desire to want to be focused on what matters to me. Uh, stuff can get me off track. It throws me out of motion. And it's easier when I'm not on a healthy regimen. So why am I making this video? I would say one, it's personally for me, and two, I think there's something that you guys can take from it. If you realize you act a certain way at certain times of your life, it, sometimes it takes, and I think I'm using this term correctly, sometimes you need to be able to psychoanalyze yourself and figure out what's causing you to feel a certain way. What's causing you to think a certain way? Is it your environment? Is it something that you're doing? Is it maybe something that you're not doing? Like for my instance, not being healthy. So it, maybe me being able to walk through what my issues are, what my problems were with health and fitness and how it's affecting a lot more in my life, maybe it could help you guys figure something out. Maybe you need to be active. Maybe you need to be healthier. Maybe you need to be reading more. Maybe you need to be chilling more, hanging out with your friends more. Maybe you need to be hanging less with your friends. Maybe you need to be hanging more of with the right people. There's just so much stuff that we can change in our life that then affects our mood and our mindset and our outlook. And on top of that, they're driving the energy. 
Because when I know what my micro and macro goals are, when I'm focused on what it is that matters the most to me, when I know what I want to get done, what I'm chasing after, my why, as in what the homie at Tristan DeLavick likes to say, is know your why, and that's huge because that's what drives me. That's what gives me the energy to sleep five hours a night and then wake up the next day and start reading. It's what drives me and gives me the energy to stay on task, to stay diligent. All right, I got a lot more work to get to. That's all I got, baby. So me being a healthier me makes my life healthier in all different sorts of aspects of it.